Kenya police officers were seen patrolling outside the U.S. Embassy building in Haiti's capital, Port au Prince, on Friday, wearing their usual uniform of body armor and helmets and holding automatic weapons. They smiled at people asking questions, and one officer responded, We are here to bring peace, of course, not to fight. The Kenya police officers are the first UN backed continent of foreign police to arrive in Haiti nearly two years after the troubled Caribbean country urgently requested help to cure a surge in gang violence. Meanwhile, not far from the embassy, Jimmy Cherisa, a former elite police officer who now leads a powerful gang federation known as G9 Family and Allies, set up a micro microphone in the street for an impromptu press conference. Cherise, best known as Barbecue, criticized Prime Minister Gary Cornier, accusing him of not opening dialogue with the G9 family and the alliance that he represents. Let's focus on the solution. The real solution is a national dialogue where every Haitian, without discrimination, has the right to speak, he said. We want dialogue because we don't want war. We want dialogue because we want peace. This time, Theresa abandoned his usual uniform and guns in favor of a flashy red suit. This is wonderful. This is not a time to be trading blames. This country has been going through a lot for the last two years or thereabout. It is higher time the different factions or different gangs sit on a round table and the government should make sure that they call a national dialogue in which every part of Haiti as a country is being fully represented, where they can find a long-lasting Haitian-driven peace solutions or peace deals. Yes, it's only Haitians that can find peaceful solutions that is suitable for Haitians at large.